Why can't I just screenshot an NFT? I do this all the time with art. Well, Clive, you can. But that's a bit like saying, why can't I take a photo of a Ferrari and drive it home? But even that analogy doesn't work. In order to understand why you sound like a 2022 version of a 1980s comedian doing a bit about airplane food, you need to understand what an NFT is, why the blockchain works, and why I would totally bang the painting of the Mona Lisa. Let's look at why you're wrong about the value of NFTs. Part one, what is an NFT? An NFT or non-fungible token is a unique non-interchangeable unit of data stored on a digital ledger known as the blockchain. Did you just read Wikipedia to them? Sort of. And do you always go to the edit bay when you haven't written a joke? Fuck off. So it's a bit like when you buy something in a video game to get some clout or show off to your friends in that virtual world. I feel like I'm slowly proving we're living in a simulation. The difference here is that an NFT lives on the blockchain, not in the closed database that runs the store within that game. Am I a poet? Did that just rhyme? The value of an NFT is not the thing itself, it's the entry on the blockchain, part two. But what is the blockchain? Well, Boomer, the blockchain is what enables Bitcoin to work. It's decentralized and open. This means if your computer breaks or you can't get into it, you can still prove that you own that NFT. This is a powerful permanent record of who owns what that anyone can access. We can also see when an NFT was created and everyone who owned it before you, so we know if the thing is original or a scam. The big difference here is that it's not centralized. Nobody owns the blockchain and everyone can verify your purchase. Part three. So can I screenshot an NFT? Are you still pulling at that thread, Clive? Yes. Sort of. But that doesn't mean you own it any more than someone who takes a photo of the Mona Lisa owns it. You can take a photo of someone else's passport, but it's pretty bloody obvious it's not yours. In order to own that JPEG, you need to have the NFT authenticated by nerds on the blockchain. Also, screenshotting is wrong. You should right click and select save as so you don't have to crop the image. NFTs are on the blockchain. Everything else is not. So although you can download someone else's art of Google, you don't own it. It's the same reason you can't screenshot a girl on Instagram and call her yours. Sorry, King. You can't copy the entry on the blockchain as every NFT is original and unique. Like you, Clive, you big snowflake. Think of it this way. If you give birth to a baby, you get a certificate that says it's yours. They're one of a kind. And even though someone else can take a photo of it, you still own it. Does that make sense? It got a bit weird. It's hard to explain this in real world terms because it operates differently to any real world purchase we've ever had to deal with. In real life, many people can buy the same car, but each NFT is specific and unique. The TLDR here is, screenshotting is not illegal, but hacking the blockchain to illegally transfer an NFT to you is. People who screenshot or who save the image are interested in the art and not the blockchain. Once more for the people at the back. People who joke that they can screenshot an NFT are only interested in the pixels and not the technology. Part four, are there any problems with this? Well, kind of. The biggest issue I see is that too many people are consumed by the speculative value that could come from NFTs on the blockchain, which has led to a lot of misinformation in the media, resulting in a lot of Clives making the, but I can just screenshot that bro, jokes. So if there is a conclusion here, which there is, and it's this, all of this wasted time and energy is dragging people away from developing the Web 3.0 platform that the technology would live on in the future. So on paper, you're buying a serial number, which is either gonna put you off buying one even more or make you more excited to buy one right now. The blockchain has a ton of potential, but NFTs ain't it, son. NFTs are currently being used as a speculative tool to make money, but that's not what the blockchain is for, or NFTs. It's being used as a distraction from what it could be used for in the future. Currently, it's sort of a pyramid scheme for people to buy crappy art and brag about it. But the really interesting part here is what people value. Part five, how we value things. Ugh. This explanation is taking longer than sex with a guy on antidepressants. And I would know. Value means different things to different people. The Mona Lisa holds value because there's only one. And because it hangs in a big exclusive gallery in France. And because it was painted by Da Vinci. So the value could come from the art itself, or the fact there's only one of them, or from who painted it, or the fact she's just a total hottie. Is it just me? Largely, value comes from price versus demand. Unlike on YouTube, where value comes from the number of likes and subscribers on a channel. Hint. Oh, and join the subreddit while you're down there. But because we're used to digital things being in abundance as they can be easily copy pasted, riddle me this, where does the scarcity value come in for digital media? And why is there any demand for it at all? If you've ever watched porn stars, no, not those, those porn stars, 
You all know that a certificate of authenticity makes the value of a product go up massively. And because each NFT is unique, that drives up the value even more because it's a one-off digital asset. I think it was Gandhi who said, People value authenticity over everything else, motherfucker. So why would you buy an NFT? Well, firstly, it's to show off like every brand ever. Secondly, to make money as the value might go up. And third and finally, the perks. And there are a lot of these right now. So to answer your question, Clive, yes, you can screenshot an NFT, but that does miss the point of them. And it focuses on the art and not the blockchain. I hope that helps. Oh, and don't go taking any photos of babies. That would be weird. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, you might like this video about why the McDonald's app wants to know your location. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to this channel, and join my subreddit or Patreon. Both of those are linked below. Godspeed, and I'll see you all next week.